Welcome to God's Playbook with your host, Father Rico Passero. It's a 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown! Let's play ball. Welcome back to God's Playbook, friends. Today, we're going to speak of the saint of the day, Saint Benedict. Saint Benedict is a leader in living a monastic life and is responsible for the Benedictine way of spirituality, obviously named after him, or the Benedictine rule. Benedict is called the father of Western monasticism and lived from 480 to 547. While we know so little about his early life, we know that in the dialogue of St. Gregory the Great and the rule that was written by Benedict himself, we know much about his deep love for God and how the Holy Spirit used him to really help the Desert Fathers and those living in community to do just that, to live in community in a very holy and communal way. He emphasize moderation, humility, obedience, prayer, and labor as ways to holiness. For St. Benedict, he and a few of his companions between the years of 520 and 530 founded the great monastery of Monte Cassino, to which many of you listeners perhaps have visited. And this is where St. Benedict spent most of his life and wrote his rule there. This work became the primary influence on Western religious life for the next 600 years and is still followed today by the sons and daughters of St. Benedict. St. Benedict realized that to be holy... One must be rooted in God, recognize his presence in our lives, and also be obedient to his will each and every day. His focus on prayer and manual labor is the basis to which many monasteries and religious communities live today. Even third order religious communities take some of their rules from St. Benedict that even while living in the world, we do not need to live of the world. In other words, we live differently, where God is the center, and that our work and our play is reflective of our love for God first, and our responsibility to our families, our parish communities, and the greater community to which we live is also something that a follower of Jesus must not only be aware of, but respond to. For those who are interested in researching the Benedictine rule, you will see a very strict and rigid rule by which religious are to live. This almost militaristic approach shows great discipline, and you can see why religious communities have used this rule to help to shape their own community and spiritual lives. How great it is that God gave us somebody as special as St. Benedict to help to create this Catholic discipline in our lives. Our attendance at Mass, our commitment to daily prayer, our frequency of the sacraments, our ability to be generous with God and with those who are most in need. These are elements of the Benedictine rule that can help each one of us in our daily lives too. I'm not called to be a monk, and perhaps you may not be either. God doesn't expect us to live and hang out in our church pew 24 hours a day, seven days a week. St. Benedict in his rule also shows that labor and work is a very important part of giving praise to God. So in your work, whether it's manual labor or whether you use your mind or body, 
can we glorify God in our work too? Now, our work should never replace our prayer, of course, but especially when we do tasks that we don't necessarily enjoy. Are we willing to offer that up to God as a way of atoning for our own sin, as little sacrifices that are pleasing before our Lord? St. Benedict truly is one of the fathers of our spirituality. I encourage each of you to take elements of his rule and apply them to your own life. We are called to be saints. St. Benedict gives us some instruction, like a good coach does to his or her players, of not only how to play the game, but how to succeed. St. Benedict teaches us, through the power of the Holy Spirit, how we can grow in holiness. And what are the things that we need to do to practice, to help us to perfect our way of living, and to use the gifts and talents that God has given to us for his greater glory. Lord, we thank you for the gift of St. Benedict. And we ask through his intercession that each of us may grow in holiness and in our relationship with you. St. Benedict, pray for us. For God's Playbook, friends, I'm Father Rico. God loves you and so do I. If you like what you hear, please consider supporting us using any of our affiliate links in the description below via Budsprout, Ko-Fi, or GoFundMe. Thanks, and God bless.